is going on everyone? It's Adam from the Dime Bag Rig Project here. Hope you're all well. In this video, I'm going to be going through all of my Pantera damage plan, Rebel meets Rebel memorabilia that I've picked up from over the years. I've been collecting Pantera and damage plan and Rebel meets Rebel memorabilia since way before 2017 when I started off the Instagram page. Um, in the meantime, I've been sent loads of bif different bits and pieces from you as well. Um, eBay purchases, I've picked up magazines, various t-shirts, drumsticks, etc. So uh, yeah, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a video of all the all the memorabilia that I have. I've got some little gems in there as well. So uh, without further ado, let's have a look. Okay everyone, so here I've laid out pretty much all of my Pantera memorabilia. Um, I'm not going to go through it in too much detail or any sort of order just going to do a quick review on what everything is where i got it from etc etc so um let's think where are we going to start let's start with the damage plan stuff so as you guys know i do sell these damage plan picks on ebay but this particular one is one that i caught at download festival 2004 um Printed with the damage plan logo on. Uh, this second one I was sent from a good friend. I don't know if you guys can work that out, but it's got the dime bag logo on, or the, uh, the damage plan in there as well. It's hard to make out because it's black on black. But yeah, the dime bag silhouette on the front, and the damage plan dime bag Dunlop on the front. Next up, I got a damage plan sticker. OG Pantera's dime bag Daryl and Vinnie Paul have a new plan damage plan. So I don't know if this come out with the CD uh, or is it a promo thing. I'm not too sure, but my friend Tom uh, Vernon gave me that one. Uh, now I do have a set of damage plan Vinnie Paul drumsticks. Uh, they're not used ones because, um, as you can see, in my Pantera stick, um, Vinnie used to have this kind of like box cutter spiral going down the end of uh, the end of the stick so uh, he used to hold his sticks this way around this kind of provided him a little bit more grip um, so yeah this is an un unused pair printed out damage plan on being a drummer I absolutely love those sticks um, alright next up I'm gonna go here and uh, I've got an original set list from the London 2004 show uh, my friend Alid sent me this uh, he's an avid pick collector and um, he bought a Bobzilla bass pick and got this with it uh, he wanted to know if I was interested in it and how yeah I was so here we can see the, the breathing new life pride with no intro wake up crawl save me fuck you explode reborn newfound power then walk new level and the love gun endings at the end so that is uh weirdly enough my both my two friends uh, that live I lived in the same village actually went to this show uh, two days after uh, download festival 2004 that I went to and saw saw dime bag and the rest of the guys in damage plan so uh yeah it's cool to have this uh let's have a look so here was an eBay very recent eBay purchase it's a promo shop from Joe Giron uh, it's December 2003 this was taken a lot of these kind of photos were used for um, promotional shots etc as you can probably just work out on this poster just here which I'm going to show you guys in a second um, yeah I don't know how many different versions of these are released but um, this is the my, probably one of my favourite damage plan ones um, that's been released so yeah nothing nothing on the back but um, great little memento piece there memorabilia uh, another little damage plan thing is a save me single but when you take the sleeve out you can see that it's been signed by Vinnie Paul um, this in all honesty it was an eBay purchase uh, didn't get it for that much at all but again I just thought it would be a nice memento for my damage plan um, memorabilia and lastly my damage plan memorabilia 
I have got the store posters. So I'd like to get this framed. It's quite small. This is kind of like a little tear off section at the bottom here, which I don't know why you would want to tear that off, but this one's obviously untouched store poster. Again, another eBay purchase. Again, another photo from Joe Giron there from one of the promo shots that, as I showed you just before. So that's the damage plan stuff. Now, let's go and move on to my Pantera collection. Um, again, I'm not going to lie here. Uh, Pantera, I'm Broken, Slaughtered Single, signed by Vinnie Paul in 2011 and Rex undated um, again another eBay purchase but again I just thought it would be a great little memento for my memorabilia so now if you're all a Pantera fan you know about these <laughs> vulgar videos now these are the original VHS's that came out way back when so we have Cowboys from Hell, the videos the vulgar videos and we also have Pantera 3, watch it go now when I bought this someone sent me just a scrap bit of paper with Dimebag's signature on thought that was pretty cool so uh, yeah that's them three three they sit nicely together like that as well now just going on the back of that I did however have the DVD as well and with the DVD it is a transferable um, sleeve so you can change it if you wanted to so that that is the cover swap it around it's been like that that cover for years I'm gonna say at least 12 years I've had that version of the cover on let's put it on the, on the other one there we go so the DVD as well as the uh, as the three vulgar videos there okay next up I'm gonna go for the Rex Brown book not signed or anything just again another nice little bit of memorabilia there don't know how many photos are actually in this book not too many some nice gems it's a good read recommend reading it don't just take take it or take the stories with a pinch of salt that's all i'm going to say i've had conversations with people that have read this book and said to me you know don't believe everything you read in this but yeah, it's a nice, nice book. Soft, soft back. Maybe one day if I ever meet Rex, he can sign it for me. And then another book for all Pantera fans is the Vulgar Display of Power, or the Vulgar Display of Pantera book. This is a really nice, thick book. It's um, great, great great for every fan I mean it starts off from the early days Let's just hold that up for you guys so it's from the early days all the way through all the way through to the to the last days of trend kill and reinventing the steel so yeah I don't know how many of these were actually made but I know there's still a few about on Amazon or eBay but my wife actually got me this for my uh, 30th birthday, so yeah, really cherish this. Okay, so as I showed you guys earlier, I do have a stage used Vinnie Paul Pantera drumstick. As you can see, it's fully printed up Pantera Cowboys from Hell, with the old Vic Firth logo. Vic Firth, and it's all been scribed as well. So there's not too many bashes on this stick apart from a few as you can see but yeah this is a stage use Vinnie Paul Pantera drumstick um, right so 
a few other bit, bits and pieces. Um, working on the building site that I do, um, one of the guys uh, knew that I was a Pantera fan and uh, asked me if I wanted an original limited edition release of Far Beyond Driven. It's uh, It's got A printed on it, but I have done a post on this on Instagram before, so if you want to have a look in a little bit more detail on this, then you're more than welcome to head over and have a little scroll through. Yeah, original artwork, a bit heavy. The arse cheeks being spread with the auger bit going through. <laughs> yeah, great album. Great album cover as well. Okay, so let's go on to this item that sh my friend Sean sent me, or sold me even. Now it's a um, it's a press pack from the Far Beyond Driven Years, and just like the damage plan item that I showed you earlier, there are actually a couple of prints here as well. So this one's on gloss. Uh, again, this is done by Joe Giron. Doesn't say what year on the side. That one's in gloss, and then this one's in matte. This one was taken by Michael Miller. Nothing on the back. But the, these press packs were given to radio stations um, to introduce who bands were before they released singles and things like that. So it's got a nice bi couple of biographies there. That one's single sided, that one's double sided. And then uh, obviously the press pack itself comes as that. Barcodes on the back. So yeah, this was a great, great little find. Um, so my friend Sean Linstead um, inboxed me and saw that, asked me if I was interested in this piece, and I tore his arm off. Hell yeah, I want that. I will purchase it now. How much? Uh, <laughs> so, just going through now, I've kind of separated all my different guitar picks. Um, a majority of my guitar, or well, all of my guitar picks, are uh, eBay purchases. Um, boom, boom, boom. Let's just take these out the out the out the picture. These are just my Pantera singles. They're not signed. They, I didn't buy them when they were first released. There we got the two Planet Caravan Part One and Part Two releases. See the Walk single and the I'm Broken Slaughtered single. So when we add the signed one to it, kind of got all the singles. All there. Okay, so let's have a look at last DVD that I've got. Obviously, an original release, Dime Vision Part One. So I must have burnt this DVD out a hundred times because I've watched it so much. Really wish that the guys would release this on like Amazon Prime or uh, you know Apple iTunes or something so you can do a digital download on it because. It would be great to have it on, on on online as such downloaded. Right, so it's the one and only Rebel Meets Rebel item that I have, and it's a lot like the Damage Plan poster, same size, roughly. Rebel Meets Rebel, the CD, <laughs> the Cowboys from Hell, Ride Again with David Allen Co. So yeah, I want to get this framed as well. There's nothing on the back, but I absolutely love this album cover. It's one of my favourite album covers of all time. Big Vin Records. So yeah, again, another another eBay purchase just there. Um, right, so I'm going to go through this. Now, this is a 20th anniversary Cowboys from Hell box set. Um, I've laid out some of the things that come in this, um, but it's an amazing 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 item um, for any collector I've, I've kept the t-shirt that comes with it packaged up still but it's a New Year's Eve puke party t-shirt that Dimebag designed um, that they had reprinted for this box set uh, you got the CDs down the side which opens up as Pantera You've got three CDs in there so I've done a digital download of this so I didn't ruin this 
these CDs. Now with this box set, it does come with an array of uh, replica items. So first of all, we have a badge, not the badge, a badge, <laughs> fucking hostile. So everything just pops straight in here. Um, tour laminate, a replica tour laminate there, official tour personnel access all areas. US Tour 91 all access. And then also Fall 91 Tour Cowboys from Hell guest card, nothing on the back. And then also a, like a sticky a stick on kind of thing. I've seen a fair few of these. I've got an Ozfest one which I should be showing you very shortly. So that's Tour 90 all access. So I haven't unstuck it, but it is a sticker. Um, and then, what else did you get with that? There's a replica. There is a replica ticket stub there from the Ritz. Friday, June the 14th, 91, 7.30 p.m. Pantera, Violet Demise, the Ritz Music Hall. <laughs> And then on top of that, you also get this lovely, lovely booklet. Now, obviously, Dimebag wasn't alive um, when this was released, but you do get kind of like little statements inside from the three remaining members of the band at the time. So you've got Phil's written notes there. Still going through to Phil's written notes. Vinnie Paul, memories that he has of recording the album. All written just there. And obviously Rex Brown as well. Then you flick through. Lovely dime bag section there. We've just got loads of Mark Ross commenting. So it just got the lyrics there for all the all the songs. What's on each disc? So yeah, amazing little booklet there. Now I do I do use this little pocket hole to hold all my other bits and pieces uh, of my memorabilia. So I'm just going to leave that just there. Um, so as the years have gone on, I've found many other things. Um, just going back to that box set, it also comes with these posters. I completely forgot. Now these are reprint posters, obviously. It's got the Pantera at the Arcadia Theatre with Raph Child, May 4th, a special guest, Disciple. <laughs> so yeah, this comes up all nicely folded up, which comes in there. Then you've got another flyer as such rock the vote with Pantera register to vote now so yeah I want to get these framed but again I want to keep them pristine and keep them in the box so let me know what you think I should do with with, with the posters in the comments below guys because um, I'm, I'm torn at the moment between getting them framed and uh, keeping them folded so let me know what you think I should do. Again, another flyer here. Taking over this town. Basement, June the 2nd. Not too sure what year this is. But yeah, love that poster. So that goes straight in the box. So that's everything that comes in the box set. Now I'm going to go through some bits and pieces that I've acquired over the years um, since I started the Dimebag Group project. So starting off we'll go for the Seagram 7 Pantera Far Beyond Drunk guitar picks I don't know if the lights very good on them but yeah I have uh, have two of those picks I did have four but um, I just thought why why be greedy I'm just gonna let someone else enjoy them so I uh, I passed them on I sold those um, for the same price as kind of what I got them for 
um, and then this one I'm not too sure what this tour was from uh, but it's like an up yours with, with a fist just with a dime bag signature on the back that might have been a uh, vulgar display of power just with the fist and everything so um, okay so da -da 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 -da. let's go for some ticket stubs that I've been sent so again over the years a few people have messaged me uh, that are my followers and said to me you know if I went to see Pantera back in 92 or, or whatever year they saw him in and um, yeah they were so kind to send me some ticket stubs so this one I forget who sent me what one so sorry if I upset anyone by not mentioning who who sent me what but again this one Thank you very much for watching, say. guys. Hope you all enjoyed Megadeth it. It was a pleasure watching that DVD Pantera. all the way through, and trying to hunt down the Dime Jaws again. Um, um, let me know what your favourite parts of the DVD were in the comments below. Remember, hit subscribe, like this video, and, and follow me on Instagram, which is here, Dimebag underscore rig underscore Marquee. project. Again, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much Wednesday for watching. The 20th of and I'll see you I believe that was 1993, I believe. Not too sure. Now, when I, I got this one sent, uh, bought off. I bought this one off eBay, and it did come with a Cowboys from Hell um, guitar pick, which um, I now have five of these. So we'll, I'll show you those in a second. So that's that one. Uh, and then lastly, I got this one from my friend Nick, I believe, Brixton Academy, plus the port, 30th of April, year 2000. That must have been the uh, reinvent of the steel tour. So yeah, all London shows, all relevant to where I, where I where I live, roughly. Um, just just on the back of that uh, reinvent in the steel tour, I got a few of these off eBay. I've got tried to try to find like one of each, um, and these are. Pantera, Slayer, Static X, Scrape, and Morbid Angel passes. Uh, we have the Universal Pass, we have the VIP Pass, which is double sided, All Access Pass. So, with the All Access Pass and the Universal Passes, obviously these would have been used by Road Crew because it's got spaces for their ID uh, photo, which is a kind of like a passport photo, and, and who they are at the bottom. Extreme Steel Tour. There you go. So that's those three. Um, I think there's one more to get. I'm not. I think it's um, support, maybe. I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's them. For, I love love the different colours. I love love the holographics on them. Let's put them in there. These uh, ticket stubs in my little compartment as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, I was. I'm not going to say names because he got a good good set of things sent to him um, and I reached out to him and he, he said he'd send me some bits and pieces um, one of which was I'm just going to say one of Pantera's road crew sent my friend this stuff and then he forwarded some of it onto me so one of those items is a power metal 87 VIP backstage unused so this thing is as old as me because I was born in 87 bright orange absolutely bright orange great bit of memorabilia there um, also sent me an unlaminated support pass for reinventing the steel tour the real steel tour 2001 double sided so again unlaminated unlike all the other laminate passes that I have um, and I think he sent me one guitar pick as well. Um, bum bum bum. Where's that one? Here it is. And it's a holographic Catch the Flame. I think it says uh, call one one nine hundred two six three three two two four. Call me, damn it. And apparently, if you was to call that number. Uh, Dimebag and Bobby Tongs would leave a message each day on the uh, on the tape recorder and just tell a little story of, of what happened that particular day. So um, yeah, another thing that I got from my friend Tom was an original 
Pantera bumper sticker nothing on the back again reinventing the steel era sticker year 2000 so there we go says it right at the bottom um, and then obviously Pantera played Ozfest 1998 in Milton Keynes um, I've got this on eBay it's a media pass um, and then they also later on played Ozfest 2000 so I've got an Ozfest 2000 dime bag pick and an Ozfest 2000 Rex Brown pick as well. If you can work that out, there, there you go. So, as you can see, I've got a few bits and pieces still scattered around. Um, now I've got a variety of reinventing the steel guitar picks: black, green, black and gold, green and black etc so I'm just going to run through these quickly with you so reinventing the steel the steel has been reinvented by Pantera Dimebag so I've got a couple of those got that one that one I just showed you is in gold same same one in white black and white um, yeah so what's this one yeah, and then this this design's the same same design on one side, but on the other side I prefer this design. It's Pantera, the Cowboys from Hell logo, and Dimebag signature. So I've got that one in black. Um, and then I've got the rest in green and black. So obviously you got so you've got two two here, which are just standard standard picks not stage used but then I've got this one here which was obviously tossed out to the crowd from Dimebag because it's got the uh, slashes across the pick which Grady used to do with a, a dart so that's that one and the last one of the last ones I have uh, from reinventing the steel is a Rex Brown pick same kind of Pantera logo as the uh, Ozfest one Smoke whiskey, Rex. Okay, so some couple of more picks. Obviously, I just showed you the holographic version. So the dime bag, catch the flame, with the uh, one nine hundred number. That's just uh, black with white font, not holographic font. Um, I've got a dirt bag. Dirt, oh yeah, dime bag hardware pick, which I got in a pick tin, which I've kept out. Get your pull on there so that goes well with all my dirt bag dime bag hardware stuff this one's a pantera 101 proof diamond is it diamond arrow this is diamond arrow on the back 101 proof so i don't know how early this one was obviously 101 proof was released years after cowboys from hell um, so calling himself Diamond Daryl like I've got on these five guitar picks. Whoop, here we go. Straight on the floor. Um, yeah, so I've got these these five guitar picks are all the original original Diamond Daryl. Keep fucking dropping them, that's not good. Um, yeah, Diamond Daryl guitar picks. All with uh, Pantera Cowboys from Hell logo on. Diamond Daryl on the back. So there's five of those which I have. And another 101 proof pick. It's a really nice one. Gold on black. 101 proof. And one of the last guitar picks I wanted to show you was the infamous Washburn Dime Bag Alien Skull. Love that design. I'm thinking of getting this little alien tattooed. I do love it. Okay, so nearly there, guys, on the uh, on the memorabilia side of things. Um, now, obviously, a couple of years ago, where was Ride for Dime? X sent me these. 
hit me up when you come through. So he sent, he sent me a postcard from Texas. He was um, fortunate enough to go for, to ride for Dime. Um, when was this? What year? The 15th annual. Hosted by obviously Rita and Dave Grohl at Dimebag's house. He sent me over the laminate pass. Backbeat barbecue. And he also sent me over the backbeat barbecue guitar pick as well which is very kind of him he didn't have to do that but I really appreciate that he did um, another thing is um, one, of the, one, of my, one of my followers lives just down the road from me um, he went to download festival 2007 and he, he met Rita that was there and she gave him Dime Day, Black Tooth Bash, Drink It or Wear It, May 17th, 2007. It's a laminate pass, I'm not too sure where. There we go, Sunset Strip, VIP doors at 8, sponsored by Monster, AMG, Dime Bag Hardware, Dean Guitars, etc. And then she also gave, gave him a pick as well. Gold on black. In the front here it says uh, Rock Walk, 5th of the 17th, 2007. So that's 17th of May, 2017. Uh, 2007. So we're getting through this stuff pretty quickly. So, um, bum bum bum, what we got next? Um, when I started the page, I was fortunate enough to be in contact with dirt bag clothing um, with my first order that I got. It's just a cool little thing. Um, they just sent me that on on my order. They always hook me up. Get your pull, dirt dirt bag John. <laughs> so yeah, it's nice, nice, nice every time I get a package from from dirt bag because. Um, Say sometimes I order just like one T-shirt and one hat, and they send me like a wedge of stickers, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, I really appreciate them hooking me up and uh, looking after me. Um, right, so the next thing I'm going to go, going to going to show you is um, about three years ago I started a project of making a smashed glass Washburn 332, and I contacted Chewy who obviously painted dime bag guitars and worked on the original smash glass uh, 333 or D3 at that time um, I asked him on tips on how to make the uh, guitar and I ended up making it with the tips that he he, uh, he gave me and I just asked him if he had any spare uh, Washburn logos and barbs laying around which he did so he sent me everything he had um, he also sent me a promotion shot an original promotion shot of what Randall was going to use for the warheads but they never used that one in the end that's on gloss that's really beautiful I'm going to get that framed and uh, also Chewy was so kind to send me this photograph now Chewy actually took this photo um, I've taken a photo of this photo and put it up on Instagram and I've seen it go around the internet like a wildfire um, but yeah it was it was Chewy that originally took the photo uh, and it was me that actually got it put on online uh, on the internet so yeah love love that photo with that uh, Washburn genouflage and uh, the last thing Chewy did for me was uh, wrote me a little note in 2019 as well. So, yo Adam, good luck on that broken mirror, dime. Cheers, mate. Chewy, 2019, and he was even drew me the Cowboys from Hell fire logo. So, yeah, this um, as I've said before in a few interviews and stuff, um, this this page has opened a lot of doors for me. Um, speaking to Grady, speaking to Chewy speaking to Rita and many other people um, to say the least uh, which has just opened so many more doors for me um, I didn't even realize this page would take me where it's where it's gone so um, very humbled and really appreciate 
the help and support that everyone's given me throughout the nearly four years that I've been running the page for. So credit where it's due. So thank you all. So lastly, we're going to just head over to my little Hell Yeah collection. It's not much. Um, Download Festival 2007. Uh, I met Hell Yeah at the signing booth. So all members, including Vinnie Paul. I'll show you the Vinnie Paul one because it's more relevant to the whole Pantera thing. Signed the album sleeve for me. So we'll put that away back in the album. Let me know if you think I should get that framed as well because I think it's a bit wasted just sat in its CD case. Um, another Hell Yeah item which I have is a pair of Hell Yeah drumsticks. Again, unused, so they're not all cut up on the ends, but they are printed up with Vinnie Paul signature and the Hell Yeah logo as well. So that's that. Okay, so two more things or three more things that I want to show you guys Ugh. just tell you the story behind this so obviously this is a Pearl Vinnie Paul signature drum um, let me tell you the story so when I met Hell Yeah in 2007 at Download Festival uh, I went to the merch booth, oh, not to the merch booth, to the signing booth. And when I went to download that year, we were taking our tents over our shoulder and coolie box and everything like that. And I had a drum skin in a sleeve and people thought I was crazy. Why the hell are you taking a drum skin to download? It's gonna get crushed up, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna keep it in my tent. And if, hell yeah, are doing a signing, then, um, I'm going to be going back to my tent and picking up this drum head. So, looked at the agenda and Hell Yeah happened to be at the signing tent. So, I took my drum skin and I got my drum signed by Vinnie Paul. Just the drum skin. I said to Vinnie, I, you know, I really want to get your snakeskin drum. And he kind of said, like, hope you do. Hope you do get it, man. Kind of thing. And um, years passed and it was about three years ago so 2018 this particular drum came up on Facebook marketplace and uh, really wanted it wanted to marry marry the two together wanted to put the, the, the signed head on the drum which I did so yeah like 11 years had passed between getting the head signed and getting the drum um, I went up online, I, you know, I took, took all my photos, etc. Put them, put them up on Instagram, and the next morning I woke up to rest in peace, rest in peace, rest in peace comments. Um, needless to say, I woke up with my head absolutely... I was so confused, I didn't know what the hell the situation was, you know. I'd wait and waited like 15, well, I don't know how many years it was, 2007 all the way through to 2018. So, uh, yeah, 11 years. I'd waited to marry these two together, and the night that I marry these two items together, Vinnie Paul passed away. So, uh, yeah, it was a weird, very, very strange scenario when I woke up and saw those comments really threw me. Um, but, yeah, crazy story about that. Anyway, so you guys might have seen that I've posted pictures of me and Vinnie Paul. Um, he's signing my Dean Dixie Rebel. Um, I sold that within the last year um, just due to the fact that I'm quite particular on items that I have and I've got a signed Vinnie Paul signature drum so why would I need a signed Vinnie Paul dime bag guitar so um, yeah again I'm quite particular like that. Um, on that note since Vinnie Paul passed away I've acquired this now when I met Vinny, when he signed my um, Dixie Rebel, he also signed another drum skin, um, which is now on this drum. So I got this drum, oh, 2000, late 2018. And it is the Dragon drum. So it's the original um, release. Now, D-Drum have just released this as a tribute edition. 
but this one does have the original badge on it so amazing amazing looking drum amazing sounding drum me being a drummer you know I can appreciate a good good looking and good sounding drum when I see one so as you can see this was signed in 2013 by Vinnie Paul very different signature <laughs> a few little scratches on the head but you can still work it out but yeah both so basically I have both Vinnie Paul signature drums signed by Vinnie Paul so I don't think um, you can get much better than that unless you had a used one or one of his actual drum kits so yeah these these are my absolute pride and joy I absolutely adore these they're, they're beautiful to look at the fact that they're signed as I said is is just amazing so oh yeah I'll leave them just there for now Another little, another tiny little tribute thing is the, um, I saw Phil Anselmo and the Illegals um, twice within a week, about two years ago. Um, there was a little merch booth and it said, buy your keychains handmade by Phil Anselmo himself. Um, I've broken it as you can see, but it's still a little cool memento there. Um, I went online and I purchased the um, t the anniversary vulgar display live so I got that ticket sent in the post to me alongside the poster let me just go grab that poster so made out to me don't know who wrote that in here it's quite hard to work out if we couldn't see the black on black guitar pick then it's going to be hard to make this one out uh, that looks okay that is good yes yeah, a decent size Philip H. Anselmo and the Illegals Volga display live so again that's going up in a frame it's definitely definitely getting framed with the ticket inside absolutely beautiful poster there now on that note of posters I will be showing you this now this is quite a sought after item for many many dime bag fans I've got this I've had this since about 2006 Seven, 2007 I've had this item before let's make way for it it's a rather large item hopefully you can guess what it is but it is an original absolutely huge Washburn Randall poster um, which is normally had up in in store but I don't know if you can guys can work that out a little bit better but yeah this I mean it's about it's about one one point five meters tall by seven hundred millimeters wide but it is an absolute monster and this is hundred percent going up in my studio I'm not too sure if I'm going to have it um, framed or not very dusty, I must admit. But yeah, I keep this rolled up. I don't want to get it damaged. But on that note, it does need a bit of a clean. If you guys can recommend how you clean these down without taking the paintwork off, it would be much appreciated. Okay, so that goes through all of my Pantera memorabilia. Uh, not only Pantera but Damage Plan, Rebel Meets Rebel, hell yeah. Um, you've probably seen me post about it before uh, on Instagram, if you haven't then uh, head over. But just wanted to show you this as well. This is a signed certificate of authenticity 
signed by Vinnie Paul on the uh, 20th of April 2012 um, for the one of the 333 pieces released by Dean of the Primal Concrete Sledge um, it's guitar. It's I say it's, it's it's in a case at the moment, locked away. Um, so I just thought I'd dig this out anyway and just show you another piece of signed Vinnie Paul <laughs> memorabilia which I which I own. So moving on. We're going to go through Pantera t-shirts. Okay, so I don't own many Pantera t-shirts. I think I got my first Pantera t-shirt about 18 months ago uh, on the Black Friday sale. So let's start with that one that I got. Um, black on black. Cowboys from Hell logo with Pantera written across the front. Um, I said Black Friday sale. Great t-shirt. I did get another one. Um, that's in the wash at the moment. I should have got that prepared. Um, again, that's just the Pantera logo on the front, on in black, on black. So another one that I got was this pot leaf one. It's not like the original. It's just it's got um, some. Let's just say some letters lettering missing underneath, but it has still got the flying across America tour smoke weed on the back love this t-shirt another item that I've got is the Pantera domination t-shirt very similar to this one as well same logo just inverted in black and white so there was a spurt where I had these up on my store um, let me know if you still would like one um, and I'll be able to sort something out for you guys uh, but this this one's my favorite Pantera t-shirt because not only is it black and white all my, most of my clothing is black and white it's got this on the back D Dimebag actually designed this 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 t-shirt it says uh, Pantera power groove full-blown gut-wrenching ball-busting heavy fucking metal so yeah, this is this is literally my favourite favourite T-shirt design and one to wear. Then my friend Tom hooked me up with a gasoline T-shirt in black and white. Uh, I'm not I'm not I've not seen the coloured ones um, for sale probably once back in 2004 on eBay maybe, um, but yeah, this gasoline one is. A little bit small for me. It shrunk in the wash, but um, it still fits snug. And then my last T-shirt, the infamous Dean Crank T-shirt. Now, this is a Dickies work shirt, as you can see. Now, Dime Dimebag Hardware's just re-released these out last couple of months ago. I believe they're sold out now. This video is obviously June 2021. Um, this shirt is an original release back from 2004-2005 time um, this one was given to me by my friend Nick um, when he sent me this it had the ticket stub in the front pocket which was an amazing little touch um, again this is a little bit snug for me um, but I did have I did personally own one of these original releases and I tore the arms off like Dimebag did back in 2004-2005 whenever I did it um, but yeah this I wear this one mainly for when I'm like doing the promo shots of some of my items I've got for sale or that I'm doing posts about love that Dimebag hardware logo just there it's probably one of my favorite logos so yeah that's my t-shirt collection let's now move on to magazines Okay, so last but not least is my not so large um, magazine collection. I'm just going to go through it. Uh, I've got tribute editions, random guitar, total guitar, rhythm drum stuff, and stuff when Dimebag was alive slash when uh, when he passed away. Obviously, magazines did tri tribute editions to him uh, in December slash January. Um, so yeah, let's go through them in that order i've also got a pile of little off cuts and stuff that i had when i was a late teenager or stuff that was um posted on my wall so anyway this one 
and this one are Guitar World. Guitar World 2000 and March 2003 with Zach Wilde. Um, great read. Great photos as well. Going through uh, the time of Zach and Dime. We're just having a boozy weekend at Dimebag's house. Um, I do have somewhere. There you go. The original poster that came with this as well. If I ever get to meet Zach Wilde again, I'm going to get him to sign that because that's a pretty fucking cool photo. So that's that one. So if you if you don't have it, oh, just notice that as well. Korg advert there. Okay, March 2004. This is probably one of the first interviews Dimebag did as the guitarist for Damage Plan. Again, comes with the uh, poster. I would have preferred it if the poster was uh, the front cover with the uh, Southern Cross as opposed to the Washburn um, V. Um, but yeah, in this um, in this magazine, it, go, it goes through everything that he kind of used to record um, the Damage Plan album. And just, just here in this section, I'll just read it out for you quickly. Uh, Dimebag says basically I did the main rhythms using my new Randall Warhead X2 head through a 1x12 Randall isolation cab which then gave me a darker more evil tone I also did a lot of stuff using a Dunlop Jimi Hendrix Octave Fuzz a JH3S and an MXR Blue Box an M103 to add to the nasty sludged up crunch so yeah there's a, a few little pointers there if you're chasing a damage plan tone this definitely goes for a few bits and pieces in that in there. Um, in early days of Damage Plan, when they first went on tour, they went out to Japan, and in the Metal Hammer, June two thousand and four, uh, there's a little featurette of Damage Plan going around Japan. In there, day by day, so day six, day seven, day eight. So and then it's obviously the era that slipped, not released there, volume three. But yeah, it's a um, nice little feature there. Jumping over to this section, um, being a drummer that I am, I used to collect Rhythm magazine. Uh, this is September 2004. It's got a great feature with Vinnie Paul. Goes through everything. Damage plan. Now these, this photo here is actually taken at the London Astoria. Uh, I recognise the big metal um, sound booth that was that was there. And then it goes through his gear, which he has. So uh, two 24 by 24 inch bass drums, a 14 by 14, a 15 by 15, 18 by 18 toms with a 14 by six and a half inch snare, which is usually a 14 and by an eight and a half inch snare. Um, Evans heads, Vic first sticks. So yeah, that was a nice read there for that for uh, Vinnie Paul. Now, uh, obviously, Damage Plan came over and did Download Festival 2004 on a Sunday. On the Monday, they did the Metal Hammer Golden Gods Awards, where Dimebag won Best Guitarist. Um, this magazine feature just goes through all the antics that happened at the Golden Gods and. Uh, as you can see, there is a very drunk dime bag Daryl there. And this little feature right here, if you've checked out my YouTube channel, I've got a video um, of this particular photo shoot happening um, for a program called Limo Fever. Um, and it's all the, let's say, live footage of this photo shoot going on in the uh, Hummer H2 stretch limo. Another photo there absolutely trashed and then on the Tuesday Damage Plan played the uh, London Astoria as I showed you in that um, Rhythm magazine there so obviously I don't have much other stuff um, Pantera related guitar magazine stuff um, but well, just shortly after Dimebag passed away um, I bought this edition of Kerrang! magazine um, December the 18th 2004 so it's literally a whole 
not a whole magazine, but a great tribute to to Dimebag. This that was a photo taken at Download Festival 2004. Recognise it from his uh, Randall Dicky shirt. But yeah, this this also came with a poster which I'll I'll show you. That's just in here. But yeah, great great tribute album. Not much else in there really, apart from the front section, and then obviously Revolver. Revolver did their um, edition in March two thousand and five. It comes with a great poster. I had this up on my wall as a late teen. Um, but yeah, some great photos there. There's a picture of Dunlop. Don't know what item they're exactly trying to promote in that Dunlop ad. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's um, it's nostalgic to go back through these magazines after not looking looking at them for so long and how they used to promote gigs and stuff. But yeah, that was uh, can't seem to find anything in this. It's supposed to be. A <laughs> a dime bag tribute out um, magazine, but flicking through it quickly, there's not really any. Where's the feature? There we go. That's a good one from from Crank Team. I love the video that dime bag, dime bag did with Crank. There we go. Until we meet again. Some great great shots in there. That's a nice one from Washburn. Dime, our friend, forever in our hearts. Carl, David, Doug, Larry, Rudy, from the custom shop. Washburn Guitars and Randall. And then years, years gone. I think this total guitar was actually when, yeah, Dimebag was with us still. Uh, doing an interview in a hotel room. There's a bit of a rig run down there. You can see the Randall Warheads. Uh, it's 8 by 2 there. Bit of a pedal board. Actually used the Rocktron Hush pedal um, on his board. But yeah, they were giving away, giving away a signed guitar. And the next two and a Warhead 4 by 12 in that total guitar. So as I said, years passed and Metal Hammer um, January 2008 did a tribute edition. Oh, like that. Tribute edition in here. So I should have really marked mark it up each section, but yeah, some great photos coming through randomly. That bag, it, go figure. Pantera t-shirts and Absolutely love that photo done with the, with the rebel. Then he pulls words. Rita, her words. Zach Wilds, Scott Ian, John Kelly, Andreas Kisser, Lemmy. So yeah, some uh, a lot of a lot of nice words there from a lot of different people that Dime knew. Total Guitar. Great shots there. That's the guitar that Dime smashed still has pride of place in the TC Guitar Cave. Total Guitar Cave. And tabs. Dean's the Link skin interview. Razorback. Talking about the Razorback, how that came around. Again, another little few words from Zach Wild. Metal Hammer, September 2012. Hail to the King. Not really look 
through these. Now a few of these my friend Jay um, Yates gave me. I kind of did like a little swap. Okay. So when you get these magazines you hope that the whole thing is just on dime bag or whatever the feature it is on but it's, a lot of it's waffle that I don't really give a shit about you only really get these types of magazines for uh, for our hero oh well trying to run through it quickly not a lot in that one and then guitar world February 2015. Let's just flip through this quickly. So there we go. 25 of the greatest Pantera songs. Going down. It's great shots there. Love that one of them in the studio. Fan art, tattoos, more tattoos, <laughs> more tattoos. So yeah, that's that's kind of the only magazines that I have. Um, now going through, I've got some little off cuts, uh, little magazine cutouts that I've done. Crank, Kerrang. Another one of Kerrang! Damage Plan. It's one of my favourite adverts. Random Warhead X2. Far Beyond Driven ML advert. What else we got? Just a little right up on Pantera there. That's Kerrang! Something out of a total guitar, which was a review on the Randall Warhead X2 there. Advert for the uh, for the Krankenstein. So all of these are 2004, 2005 era magazine cutouts. I've not bought these off eBay or anything. These are all me cutting them out directly. Dean from Hell. I'll show you guys this in a second. Let's see, what we've got. In his vision, so everything Dimebag designed, Dean built basically. We'll go through this one as well in a bit. Another uh, great shot of Dimebag there. I love this photo. Another Randall X2 advert. Uh, this one is a feature of. Diamond Dean Zelinski doing the the Razorback. You can see that there. Working on the Razorbacks. <laughs> I asked Rick Dubstep about this photo and he told me the story behind it. Then you got the uh, tribute artwork that was done by a lot of Dimes friends for charity. Total Guitar April 2004. That's before he passed. And we got the Razorback Rust advert. That was from... I can't tell you what magazine it's from. Um, I have no idea what this is. Probably just a piece of card to protect it all that I've used. Um, and then yeah I kind of printed off Dimebag's tattoo and started drawing it <laughs> when I was about 19 years old so yeah that's me me drawing that um, little photo there that's one of my photos I'm going to get that photo tattooed in a couple of months time get another tiny little Pantera right up thing that I Stuck on my wall as a child, as a young young man. 
Now, this was taken from, I remember this very, oh God, I remember this very well. This was taken from the Dimebag Hardware website back in the day. Got a little right up here. Dimebag rocks on in, rocks on in Nickelback track and new black label society video. Hmm. A few other bits and pieces that are stuck together. I'm not going to rip them up just yet. Um, right, let's just show you these. This poster came with the Kerrang Tribute Edition. Still mint condition. One of my favourite posters I have of, uh, of, of Dime. I do have a couple of other posters somewhere, I just don't know where the hell they are. And then this is a newspaper article that I cut out uh, the day after Dimebag was killed. Um, I think it's from <laughs> the Daily Sport. It was, uh, yeah, five die and two hurt in a constant bloodbath. But I'm not going to read that because we, we all know what happened. But yeah, that's that's all my little bits and pieces. All my magazines. That's all my memorabilia as such. So um, maybe a couple more things I need to show you. But we'll do that in another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you liked everything. If you've got the same type of stuff um, in your collection, let me know in the comments below. Um, if there's anything you think that you'd like to donate to my cause, <laughs> that would be amazing. Um, just get in contact with me on YouTube or on Dimebag underscore rig underscore project on Instagram. I do have a Facebook page, but I'm not really active too much on that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good rest of the day. Bye bye.